हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक सो गाइज टूडे सेशन वी गोइंग टू लर्न ए डी आई एट फिफ्टी सो ए डी आई एट फिफ्टी इज यू ए परचेस ऑर्डर एंड दिस इज वेरी प्लेइंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन वेब मेथड एज अ बी टू बी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके सो दिस स्लाइड वी कैन सी वॉट इज एन ए डी आई एट फिफ्टी ओके सो द ई डी आई एट फिफ्टी परचेस ऑर्डर डॉक्यूमेंट इज यूज टू प्लेस एन ऑर्डर लाइक इट इज यूज टू प्लेस एंड रिसीव ऑर्डर बिटवीन अ ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर so it contains important information about where to ship the order and the requested product and their quantity as well as purchase order number okay so purchase order document means this is contain all the shipping details also product information quantity details and purchase order number okay so the idea 850 is a purchase order transaction set used to place an order for a good or services so so far it also known as a, known as an electronic purchase order and the idea 850 is often the first step in ordering okay so before going ahead the idea 850 generally provides the same information you will find in a paper po document including item and prices and quantities order second shipping details also payment terms and discounts okay so po document it contains your item details prices quantity discount shipping details payment details payment terms any kind of terms and condition all related to your po document contains so it can be used for a single or a recurring purchase purchases so using the idi 850 provide several benefits so it uh, like streamlines the purchasing process enabling seller to optimize their operations and buyers to receive their good more quickly okay so in terms of uh, it's not a time consuming process it's very quick process so in addition because the data transaction are encrypted in root and trading partner can securely share sensitive data like pricing okay so in between a trading partner we can share our confidential data like pricing details with the trading partner with the help of this po document okay so in this slide we can see this eda fact and eda extra so unb ung unh unt unh unt uni and unz these are the eda fact communication protocol and eda in eda x12 standard here you can see the isa gs st sc st sc ge and ie so your unh unt and unh unt similar to in eda x12 st sc and st sc so these are the basically uh, communication protocol you cannot uh, say like this isa uh, stands for interchange control header no this is communication protocol you can just take an example for that like um, isa is for the inter interchange control header gs stand for the functional group header st means transaction set header this st and sc combination of your transaction set header transaction details and transaction set trial okay so same thing goes to your st and sc transaction set header details and trailer okay they again here ge and ie so ge functional group trailer and ie this is your interchange controlled trailer okay so these are the communication protocol when you see the uh, idea documentation so it's very confusing we not understanding the like this uh, these are the standards so that's why you need to understand this is isa gs stb g reference something okay so this isc i'll go to next slide isc means your interchange control header gs means your functional group header st means your transaction set header okay so if you convert this idi into xml document so that that particular document you can check the sender details send information then receiver information pricing detail discount details uh, item details shipping details uh, like transaction date everything is all about this idi transaction okay so idi x12 and it uh, idi x12 850 purchase order sample so the isa gs and st elements contain a functional id code and the senders and receiver id code date and time etc so the transaction set envelope contain transaction details with information about a product weight size color and all okay so this isa this is gs and this is st so the, all the elements contain your functional id code comma senders and receivers id code date and time 
okay so we this is very confusing to understand this the uh, characteristic symbols and uh, everything but these are the standards uh, to communicating the adi between the trading partner this is a confidential set of codes but in real world this, these are the standards contained in your functional id senders id uh, senders and receivers id code data and time information okay and the next and this is last slide so what are the benefits of adi 850 it weaves a real time visibility into the status of a business transaction so all data will uh, sec will uh, securely share with between the trading partner that's why it gives a real time visibility also improves the cash flow by reducing the order cash cycle time so all the transaction we will do as a paperless so it reduces the cash flow order cash cycle time uh, okay and the third would be a uh, Uh, drastically reduces ordering time by automating the re-entry processes. Also, virtually eliminates human error in data entry. So, it in purchase order in area transaction we avoid the human intervention. That's why it virtually eliminates the human error in data entry. Also, create a better customer service by resolving order and billing issue with the quick and accurate information. Okay. So, guys, that's all about today's demonstration. Thanks for watching. So, I hope you like and enjoy this session. So please like share and subscribe thank you so much have a great day ahead